after sorting the bulbs now we should construct before putting the saffron bulbs on the ship we should construct the saffron vertical farm the saffron vertical farm including a ceiling the wall insulations and an air handling unit shelves the trays and this the window and the artificial light and now step by step i will tell you the specification each part of the saffron vertical farming i started with the panel the best insulations for the saffron farm the best dimensions so numerous people ask me the best dimension for starting 100 meters for example this is the very standard 5 meters by 20 meters 5 meters wide and uh, 20 meters length 20 meters length 5 meters wide the dimensions of the standards in the 20 5 by 20 100 meters when you have the shelves is equal 100 meters is near 500 square meters 100 meters space is equal 500 square meters in this room with the dimensions of the 100 meters 500 square meters we can put near 6000 kilograms saffron bulbs six tons saffron bulbs in the building and the best insulations usually we have different part of the insulation we have the plastofoam and the aac block and the cement but the best of them is the panel panel but this is a model this is a unit but in the real if it is if you wanted to start the best insulations is the panel the best dimension is the 42 diameters of the panel they are amazing that exactly that uses in the refrigerator industrial refrigerator that uses the best you can uh, use it it doesn't need any cements any blood only you can depart them easily together with the panel in the building another thing that we have at the end of in the transverse ball at the end of the uh, transverse ball we created a window because we want to receive also sunlight not too much this is the one meters by two meters i recommend for 100 meters for receiving the sunlight also we use the artificial light because sometimes that we have the cloudy weather or sometimes access to the sunlight is the heart we use artificial light both of them we can use we use the artificial light the mix of the red and the blue the red one the blue one usually for the growth of the sprout is a very good in the vegetative phase we use in the blue light and the red light is used for flowering or the before flowering and also this is exactly that happens in the nature sunlight the window one meters by two and two meters and ceiling and the ceiling the height is much better between the 4.5 to 5 meters the best height and we use the shelves i would like that show you these shelves we use the profile the profile the iron profile and this is the very has economical justification for the trays we use directly to the wooden pieces and we can directly put the bulbs inside if you wanted to put has a uh, even the propagation phase or the in the three months of it you can put the blade and put at the soil for the having the propagation of the saffron bulbs the shelves the profile 2.2 by 2 2 by 2 the dimension and the wooden the tray the distance between the two floor is the 40 centimeters is the better and the distance between the first floor from the ground is the 10 centimeters the distance between two shelves is the one meters for the access for the worker also this space this space from these shelves to the wall also should be 80 centimeters 80 centimeters this one also this space between this space because my hands i don't have access my hand only in the middle i need back and the turn also back again for the putting harvesting the saffron therefore i should have access to this room 
and this space also should 80 centimeters the length of the wide of the east shelf is better 120 centimeters 120 centimeters and 120 centimeters 120 centimeters between 1 meters 80 centimeters this space 80 centimeters therefore we have 5 meters due to this reason i emphasize that you should have the 5 meters by the wide it's a very standard but the length no issue we can have the 18 meters 20 meters and after the building artificial light window we should have a air handling unit with this air handling unit this you should you shouldn't use air conditioners you shouldn't use the heater this exactly designed for the saffron farm and mushroom farm this is suitable this has a, a framework and this is plastic duct connected to this unit and air handling unit usually we for 100 meters we use this with the cfm cfm usually for a thousand meters for the 100 meters or for thousand five hundred meters as 4500 cfm we use for this building in the country that we have there the country that has a warm climate like india arabic countries some arabic countries it very warm and in the peak of the our work in the saffron farm in the september october november in three months very vital for us therefore we need to air handling unit in the country that a warm country arabic country that's a warm in these months that mentioned weather very warm has a 30 centigrade 35 centigrade in this month therefore we should use air handling unit air handling unit lonely is not able to provide for you cold air therefore should be connected to the chiller chiller what is the chiller chiller provide uh, cold water provide for us cold water or the with the liquid and uh, the chiller gives the cold liquid to the air handling unit and air handling unit via cooling coil converted to the cold water to the cold air therefore the air the cold air via this unit provides for us cold air this is the best cold because this is the air handling unit everything we can control but in the air conditioners in the air simple air conditioner that uses in the offices we are not able to adjust regulate the numerous factors because we don't want only the temperature we want to temperature with other factors like the velocity air speed of the room air handling unit we can circulate it with the inverter and we can for example put it in the 30 percent and provide for us because the velocity or the speed air air speed in the room we should have it between the three meters per second to seven meters per second and with the air handling unit we can easily provide and the warm regions or the warm season the warm time chiller connected to this and via this part we can have a suitable air in via air handling unit also we are able inside this also we have the humidifier humidifier war cold temperature and also we have all factors also with this we can the co2 meters in the saffron farm we should control four factors temperature very very vital the first always i have i have said to my students my god is the temperature temperature after that humidity light and co2 but three factors temperature and the temperature and uh, light and temperature CO2 and the humidity via this device we can easily provide also CO2 we can use with the damper we can easily provide and the change the amount of the change the temperature the best CO2 is between the 600 ppm to 800 ppm and only we should via this this is the, has a fresh damper in the time that we need the oxygen we open this fresh damper and via this enter the oxygen inside our room and we can change i have seen some people use the co2 gas co2 gas is the very dangerous anybody doesn't use we shouldn't use it in the saffron farm or the mushroom farm for the increasing co2 for the decreasing for decreasing or co2 i told you the best variety range of the co2 is the 600 to 800 ppm only with the opening this window 
and uh, opening the fresh damper we can just regulate CO2 easily in the near 700 ppm 600 ppm not with the putting the CO2 gas CO2 gas is a anybody doesn't use only uses in the greenhouse even the old greenhouse only what the plane with the play of the opening the window closing the window we can reach to the suitable amount of the CO2 but after that after the providing after the shelves we can move the saffron bulbs in the shell we should be ready and after the providing the bulbs we have the three range two range of the temperature the temperature if we want to purchase the saffron bulb in the august in the august and september they experience a temperature near 25 centigrade after september in the august after the september and the august in the october they experience a temperature between the 8 to 17 centigrade the growth period you can see this is a sprout this is the name of this a sprout the peels and the mother bulbs that last year we gave us this last year exactly like this this is the mother bulb we should separate and uh, put it here uh, the growth period of the saffron i would like to show you in the picture when we purchase the saffron bulbs exactly like this in the august and september we purchased the bulb exactly the bulbs like here any roots any sprouts and any roots only like this and after the purchasing the bulb we should the putting sorting putting the bulbs two weeks later the sprouts converted to the two centimeters two centimeters and in the october the sprout started to the growing and when reach to the 10 centimeters after that we have this the flowering this is the roots the bulbs the peels usually each bulb has a three or four sprout three or four sprout and each sprout has a usually three flowers four flowers therefore each bulb gives us near 12 flowers sometimes 15 flowers each 1000 one and uh, near the 1000 kilogram saffron bulbs one tons gives us between 700 gram to one kilogram dry saffron then therefore and this is the flower and for example if we put the nears this is the 100 meters if we put near uh, the six tons the six tons bulbs we can receive six kilogram six kilogram dry saffron thank you